and it's under three forces here one its own weight which is 25 newton then uh, the tension of these quarters uh, the, these cords so they all these three forces they keep it um uh, at the static equilibrium here so let me go to the white board so this is the same thing let's go just uh, copy it um the first thing is we have to you know have to choose a coordinate system or you know direction our direction for example let's choose this is y and x axis so uh before we start we have to look at this to look at these forces here this is the weight this is t1 look t1 is parallel to x axis what does it mean so it means that it doesn't have uh, a component in the y axis and uh, w the weight is uh, parallel to y axis in the opposite direction of y axis what does it mean to us so it doesn't have a component in uh, of x axis sorry this is basically t1 so i don't have to, to to worry about i don't have to do any other calculation so why because the angle between t1 and x is theta equals zero degree and as you know sine zero degree equals zero so we don't have to worry about the component of t1 on y-axis so what i'm going to do here i would say sum of forces uh in the x axis must be equal zero so we have and here is uh, remember here uh, the only we have three variables the only given variable is w so w equals 25 newton and we don't have t1 and we don't have t2 so from here we can understand that this is a two step two steps uh, a problem okay so uh we know that uh t1 it's a force right with direction and magnitude equals t1 x so here to sat to satisfy static equilibrium sum the fx must be equal zero sum the fy must be equal zero now let's start with t1 t1 equal t1 x plus t1 y so again it does not have um, um, components in the y-axis so and t1 equals t1 x and the y-x how about w uh, w equals w x plus w y right and um as you can see it is parallel to y axis then w x equals zero so w equals w y um what about t tension two t on the chord number two so t2 equals t1 at t2 x plus t2 y so since t two here let me put the coordinate system here y and x so since it is at an angle okay this is a right triangle this is 90 degree this is 30 degree then this angle here must be 60 degree okay so it's, since it is at an angle then it must have um it must have t to x and it must have also t to y we just need to find them okay that, so this is also t to y and t to actually in this angle here is the hypotenuse so cosine 60 degree equals the adjacent which is t to x over the uh, hypotenuse which is t2 now t2 x equals t2 cosine 60 degree t2 x equals how much um, 
T2. We don't have T2 actually. So what's uh, uh, cosine 60? It's 0.5. But just remember here that uh, uh, T2 X is in the opposite sign. This must have the, the negative sign with respect to the X direction. We'll get to that. So uh, it's 0.5 T2. So that's T2 X. Now, what about T2 Y? Now, if you look at this angle again, this triangle again, so uh, now we used cosine for the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Now we are going to use uh, sine theta for the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? So sine theta, which is 60 degree, equals the opposite. Let me come back here. This is the opposite. Op the opposite okay which is t to x uh, y t to y over the hypotenuse which is this guy here t2 and from here t to y equals uh, t2 sine theta 60 our theta is 60. okay so t to y equals so zero point eight seven times t two okay that was the problem for this uh for us it's about t two because it's at certain angle <coughs> now what i'm going to do is sum of fx um equals zero again to satisfy the static equilibrium what are these fx we have so what are these fx's let me go back here. So let's draw it again. So what do we have? We have, and since T2 is at certain angle, this is 60 degree, then T2X must be here. That's T2X. Now, how am I gonna add these forces, these two forces on the X axis? So I'm gonna say T1X plus T2. 2x must equal 0. What is t1x? It's the same as t1. t1. What is now here minus t2x minus, okay, because in the opposite direction. What is t2x? We need to go back here 0 0.5 t2 minus 0 0.5 t2. So from here, because we had this, both um, forces or tensions are unknown so we have to write one with respect to the other so you can do t1 equals 0.5 half of t2 or you can say t2 equals 2 t1 depending on what which you know which which one you like it's you know doesn't matter now I'm going to do another one here, another thing here. Sum of Fy equal, must be also equal zero because again, the object must be at equilibrium, a static equilibrium, right? What kind of forces they have on Y axis, on, uh, on Y axis. So I have W here, which is in the opposite direction of Y axis. And I have T to Y. These are the only two forces on Y axis. <coughs> So uh, T to Y minus W, because again, it's in the opposite direction, equals zero. What is T to Y, the Y component of the tension T2? It's 0 0.87, 0 0.87 T2, 0 0.87 T2 minus W equals zero. Then from here, we can actually, because W is known, right? It's, it's given. And from here, we can say that 0 0.87 T2 equals W. And T2 equals, what is W? W again, it's given as 25.0 Newton. 25.0 Newton. So it is... 25.0 newton over 0.87 and this gives me 2175 2175 
or 21.7 uh, Newton. That's D2. And we know that from this, uh, from what we got here. So T2 equals to T1. So how much T1 now? T1 is half. T1 equals half T2. So T1 equals 10. 0.87 newton or um, 10.9 newton and that's how we solve this kind of uh, problems okay oh here is 28.7 please correct this um, I use my uh, calculator I'm not sure what kind of mistake I did here and since this is so we did t1 now we have to divide by 2 it is going to be 14 14.4 newton it, so we just determined uh, what was asked which is t uh, the tension 2 and tension 1 so something that uh, sometimes we like to check our answers we must find if we are correct we must find that the sum of fx in the x direction must be equal zero sum of forces in the x direction must be equal zero let's let's try that so let's do t1 x plus t2 x equals zero again must be equal zero um so what is t1 x is the same as t1 because it's parallel to x axis plus what is t2 x so it's somewhere here t2x is 0.5 t2 0 point in the opposite direction so it is going to be minus so it's going to be minus 0 0.5 <coughs> um minus 0 0.5 t2 and this gives me should give me zero so what's t1 is 14.4 newton minus 0.5 times 28.7 newton and this must be equal zero okay so because we know 14.4 is half of a um, um, 28.7 or check if the sum of fy the forces in y direction equals zero so what we have in the y direction we have t to y minus w because w is in the opposite direction okay the opposite of um, y axis direction of y axis then what is t2 uh, from here is t2 y equals 0 0.87 t2 so 0 0.87 t2 minus w equals 0 so we just basically plug the numbers times what is t2 we found t2 equal 28.7 so 28.7 newton minus w is 25 it's already given newton and this must be equal zero 24.969 minus 25 newton we because we did some you know uh, rounding so this must be uh, very close um, 0. 0 and this should be equal 0 again because we did around in here and that's we how we solve this kind of problems always look for find uh, find the components of these forces in y axis and x axis add them together and from there you can determine whether the object is static um, equilibrium or not again we know it's static equilibrium we just need to determine one of the forces or both forces actually